super quick just getting started with UPVGE 0.3.0. So I'm going to grab this and drop it down one unit. That makes 0, 0, 0 on the plane. I'm going to scale this to like 10 or so. And then I'm going to go to its physics properties, which are over here. And I'm going to set its collision bound to box. I'm going to add another cube. I'm going to gr grab it and raise it up two units. It should put it right on the surface. I'm going to mark this as dynamic. And then if we hit P, you'll notice nothing really happens much. I can grab it and lift it up though, 10 units, and it'll fall and stop. We also want to mark this bound as cube. It's much more accurate than triangle mesh is. So from here, I'm going to add in another editor panel and switch to logic editor. In the newer releases, it's going to be over in the um, scripting area over here. But in this version, I have it's over here in general. So we can add a keyboard sensor with W and then a motion. And we'll say it'll apply 10 on the X. It's local. And we hit W. So now it's going to land. And if I hit W, it'll move. So there's basic movement. We can add in more keyboard controls like S, motion. This is using the bricks. So this means that you have to hold it down and it'll keep constantly doing this while it's held down, but when you release it, it won't. So this one, negative 10. So I can go backwards, I can go forwards. So now we can add in a mouse sensor and movement and then connect up a mouse actuator and set it to look mode and then disable the Y axis and now it should spin when I move the mouse. So we have our little actor here and you'll notice he slides around quite a bit. So you can crank up the friction so this is your basic logic brick motion rig but we can also view camera or the camera I can take this thing and zero out its rotation. Oops. That should be about right. Oh, no. So now the camera's parented to this thing. But the controls are backwards. I can just rotate the camera around this point. So now when I hit W, it'll go into the screen and S is back. And we can move around. So we can parent an empty that's a cube right here and then hook this to that instead and then add an actuator for mouse look and disable x-axis and hook it up to the same sensor and controller and now we have a first person game oh it's um this needs to be parented and then it's on the wrong axis right now, so we just go to, I think, Y? Yep. So, we rotate. This is inverted, so we can do negative one. Hey, kiddo.
So we have our basic first person shooter set up here. But it's a third person rig actually. If we move the camera right here, now it's a first person rig. And then also the camera aspect on a first person game is usually like 22.1 I think. So that's close to like a human's. And then we can go ahead and add a material here to the ground so it doesn't feel so dizzying. Oops. So there we go. There's a first person game in Blender Game Engine in a few minutes.